What is up, everybody? How's it going? We're back with some more Hold Fast. Today, what we're going to be talking about uh, is something that I see asked a lot in the chat. Uh, it's something that I see asked a lot in general. And that is how to aim. So, from everything I've gathered, essentially, the best way to aim is to kind of put your the bottom of your reticle. And if you didn't know, your reticle can be customized. <laughs> But essentially what you want to do is you want to put the bottom of the reticle where you're trying to hit. You can see I hit a little bit low there, so we need to aim a little bit higher. And uh, you want to put the bottom of the reticle at their feet and uh, try and hit your shot from there. Is what I've got. So we're going to try that here. It's a miss. Another important thing to remember about Holdfast Nations at War is that uh, when you aim, even if you read all the tips online and everything, there's a certain amount of uh, hoping that you have to do. You gotta hope that you can hit what you're aiming at. And in a lot of cases, your best bet, if, especially if you're trying to go for distance, is to uh, aim and hope. See, that was close but not quite uh, what we're looking for. No matter how good you think you are at aiming, that's gonna hurt if he hits me with that. This is the thing that me though. Is he, he's still alive. All right, well. Doesn't see us, doesn't see us, bonk. <laughs> but, I mean, it's not impossible. I'm not the best at sword fights. Me the melee in this is sometimes I'm good, sometimes I'm bad. There's no in-between. Uh, pretty bad at the game. But, from what I've gathered, like I was saying, there is uh, a certain amount of hope that comes into aiming. If you put the bottom of your reticle, the uh, circle bit there, on the feet, and then you just adjust up gradually, sometimes you will hit your shots. It's not always, it's not guaranteed. Uh, take it with a grain of salt because it's entirely possible that I'm 100% wrong, but uh, we'll see. Closer up is always better. Oh, time to go. <laughs> but closer up generally always better. Oh, block to the side instead of down. That's another important thing that we can talk about. The muskets only have two methods of attack, right? Either got low or you got high. So, with that, what you can kind of do is based off of how they're aiming. And that, that's a perfect example. Right amount of hope. Uh... Essentially, if the musket is up, you block high. If the musket is down, you block low. And that's all you need to worry about from the muskets. A right amount of hope. That's all there is to it. But, uh, yeah, this video is kind of a, a meme video. There's no way to really base your aim except for... Uh, like I said, from everything I've gathered, bottom of the reticle towards where you want to hit, and then fire. I'm not sure as far as like the ballistics of the rounds and things like that, what the natural gradient is to the left, to the right, up, down, but uh, we're just going to keep on trying.
And the most important thing to remember is if you aren't hitting anything, that's just hold fast, man. You just accept that. You just, you just gotta live with that. We will soon be committing to our final stand. Uh, the reason that I have voice chat off is definitely because of demonetization. Not that I make any money yet, but I'd rather not be copyright claimed before we even get going here. There it is. But, uh... Yeah. It's a good time. This is a really fun game. You just cannot take it serious. Unless you're like in a, uh, you know, if you're in one of the, this big serious line battle regiments, then I reckon. But, uh, I don't take it serious. This is literally just a game to play and have a good time. We are out of reinforcements. The push is about to start. So we're about to have a uniform bad time. Oh, just like that, it's over for us pop around and look at some of the uh, the different groups we got going here. This guy is done. We've got our violinist here, chilling. Oh, violin said ain't got time for music. It's time to bust back. But, I mean, I hope this helps you a little bit. Different classes, from what I understand, too, have different uh, abilities as far as like how accurate they are the buffs that they give your <coughs> excuse me the buffs that they give different units uh some of the orders will increase the accuracy rate of fire things of that nature uh oh that guy just missed that's embarrassing Österreicher haben den Sieg errungen. But uh different classes have different sorts of abilities, like I was saying, that improve different things. And then I also believe that different infantry units have different uh different levels of accuracy as well. Like I've played with light rifle, I've never been able to hit a thing. Except for rarely, but they're fast, so they're good at flanking. If you play with the riflemen, uh, or light infantry, I don't know what they're called. We'll look through them here in a second. Light infantry, good for flanking. Riflemen, good for distance. Uh, line infantry, good for getting in a line. So, yeah, guard, don't know what they're good at. Sergeant can give uh, supplementary orders to light infantry things of that nature they also come with a, uh, a spear that's pretty pretty useful in most cases I've found uh, you can also go in here and customize their weapons and if you go here you can kind of see what their different uh, roles are so different uh different bonuses for different different things light infantry is quick you receive more damage and you do better accuracy you receive more damage from melee but better accuracy with uh with rifles we're gonna go into our weapons select the best ones that we can and go ahead and get in but it's all just I thoroughly believe it's a game of chance I'm gonna spawn in on a tent here and I mean there's only so much that you can do I just survived something Pretty open desert. Hopefully we have sappers that can build for us. We're gonna go after I think that's an officer out there. It's either an officer or a musician. Let's see what we can make happen.
He better be quick. Oh, didn't make it. So we're going to hit him with a quick flank here. <coughs> and uh, see what we can make happen. Don't know if we can hit anything from this distance, but we're going to try. Oh, but I mean, overall, hold fast as a game, like I was saying before, is all about having fun. You pick a class, if you like the class, one of my favorite things to play as is a doctor. I love playing as a doctor. I'm a man of medicine. How dare he try and strike me? It's just a good time. this and uh just prepare to hold cannonballs aimed right where we were <laughs> we're gonna move away from there using our friends as cover as any good man would dude's gonna charge good on that we're gonna flank left if we can Now, I also believe this could be incorrect as well, so take this with a grain of salt. Uh, with more of a grain of salt than the aiming at the using the bottom of the circle to aim as a base. But, uh... The... Oh gosh, what was I going to say? Never mind, I forgot. been down. I hit him. Oh, I lived? My boy's coming in handy. Should have struck faster. It's all based on when you release the click versus when they do, and they have a speed advantage. It's hard for me to tell. What's going on? I forgot where I was, what I was talking about. My bad. Thoughts not organized. But, oh, we're doing a charge. Oh. All about having fun, though. This game is definitely, if you take it too serious, you're not going to have as much fun. We're going to charge up here with our guys. Kind of looks like we're stuck a little bit a grinder. Oh, we got side, side swipe. So we're going to switch our class here. Uh, kind of want to go in as line infantry. Oh, come over here. That's 15, 5%. So yes, in this one you are increased 8% by being in line. Grenadiers get a damage boost. So yeah, we'll go in as our as the handy dandy surgeon. Fire off one last round here. And then we'll see if we can pick up a spot in the tent. We can. And we'll go from there. We're going to push up 
push over here and see if we can help him out. That wasn't me. I didn't get that. It's time for us to do a tactical fallback. Give me the kick. But I mean, yeah. That is uh, essentially how you hold fast. And uh, what we can do later on is we can definitely. Just play out this match and see how it goes. Do our doctor work here. try and help this man act like we don't see that guy oh no behind me But essentially, the best way to hold fast uh, is just to play hold fast and have fun. I'm gonna go over here to this right flank and see if we can't stop him. He's good. I don't know. <laughs> that was a quick block. I don't really understand how people block that quickly or efficiently, but maybe we'll get there one day. Most likely we won't. We're going to try and defend our tents here. Oh! <laughs> It's about to be bad. Oh, <laughs> they have a lot of light infantry. They're about to make it to our tents. That dude just massacring people. <laughs> I've been wounded. Well, yeah, folks, I mean, that's about it. That, uh... Oh. <laughs> we are just a small band. Oh no!
Oh, none of them. <laughs> the blunderbuss. Anyways, folks, yeah, that's Hold Fast. I mean, it doesn't get any more basic or simple than this. It's a good time. It's a fun time. Y'all have a good one.